All right. So this is another representation showing you the transverse tubules and the terminal cisternae. And this, I pulled this diagram from another textbook, actually. So what do we see here? The big circular structure is a muscle fiber. And the pink membrane that surrounds it is a sarcolemma. Now let's look here. Let's look here. Do you see that the sarcolemma invaginates? Do you see that? How it invaginates? And these invaginations of the sarcolemma form T tubules or transverse tubules. Now, as it invaginates, it doesn't stop here. It invaginates and goes like this. Do you see that? The pink tube-like structure. So the pink tube-like structure is called T-tubule which is formed by invagination of the sarcolemma. Is that making sense to you? All right. So the pink tube-like structures which are tucked around every myofibril or each myofibril is called transverse tubule or T-tubule, which is formed by invagination of the sarcolemma. All right, now let's look at the green meshwork. The green meshwork-like structure is the sarcoplasmic reticulum, as we see here. But on either side of the T-tubule, the sarcoplasmic reticulum forms sac-like structures. So let's focus here. Do you see this green sac? And then this green sac. So these blind-ended sac-like structures of the sarcoplasmic reticulum are called terminal cisternae. And remember the terminal cisternae, they store huge amount of calcium. All right, hopefully you understand the transverse tubules and the terminal cisternae. Now together, if you look at this unit, this part. So this part has a T-tubule and on either side of the T-tubule you have a terminal cisternae. Together these three things is called a triad. Okay? All right. So if you look at each myofibril, which are these circles here, so you pull out each myofibril, remember the cigarettes. And if you look at each myofibril, uh, you do see these myofilaments, right? Thick and thin filaments. All right. So looking at the bigger uh, muscle fiber, within the sarcoplasm, you can have hundred to thousands of cylindrical myofibrils. And remember the myofibrils, they run the entire length of the muscle fiber. So the cigarettes or the myofibrils run the entire length of the muscle fiber. All right. Now myofibrils are composed of myofilaments. We talked about this before. And as we mentioned before, myofilaments are made up of thick and thin proteins. The thick proteins are in yellow here. These are the thick ones. And the thin proteins are in red here. And the thick and thin filaments, they are organized, they are organized into the specific structures, which is called a sarcomere. Okay, so within a myofibril, you will see repeating, repeating units of sarcomere and each sarcomere has thick and thin filaments organized in a specific pattern. All right, so we are zooming into the thin filament and at the very beginning of my lecture, I did mention that the thin filaments are made up of actin proteins, but then there are associated proteins as well. So we are looking into a thin filament. You do not have to memorize the diameter. This is just for knowledge. And a thin filament is made up of two twisted strands of proteins. You can imagine two 
pearl necklace necklaces twisted together now each red ball do you see each red ball each red ball is an actin molecule so it's oops, sorry each red ball right here is a g actin and then each strand or each pearl necklace is called an f actin and if you look at a g actin if i blow up this is a g actin each g actin has this site do you see a black spot that is actually the active site and later we will see how myosin heads bind to the active site this just keep it as a side note we will look at it later okay so we know what is g actin what is f actin now right here do you see a green rope like protein this green rope like protein is called tropomyosin which in which covers and covers the active site of the actin proteins so the active site is usually covered like this by the green rope like protein called tropomyosin so the green is tropomyosin and then do you see blue proteins clipping on to the tropomyosin and the actin these blue proteins are called troponin these are called troponin so on top of this if you have another protein this is called troponin so you can imagine troponin as these clips clip like proteins that keep the tropomyosin in place that's a function of troponin and we will also see that it is to these troponin proteins that calcium binds so troponin protein is where calcium binds remember okay looking at thick filament made up of myosin um, uh, proteins now right here we see a myosin molecule a myosin molecule has two heads and the tail is twisted like a rope so th that forms a myosin molecule and when multiple when many 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 myosin molecules come together that makes a thick filament i hate when people say when people look at this structure look at this structure and say this is myosin no this is not myosin this is a thick filament which is made up of many 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 myosin molecules okay all right moving on so looking at sarcomere as we mentioned before so right here we see a muscle fiber so this big circle is a muscle fiber and in this diagram we we look at a myofibril that has been pulled out of the muscle fiber so this thing is a myofibril now within the myofibril do you see the z discs okay these are the z discs now from one z disc to the adjacent z disc we have so from here to here we, this is called a sarcomere remember a sarcomere is called a functional contractile shortening unit between two adjacent z disc now the sarcomere has the thick and the thin filaments right remember that the thick and the thin filaments within the sarcomere they slide past each other which causes each sarcomere to contract in length and as all these sarcomeres that are um, connected to each other when all these sarcomeres contract the entire myofibril contracts when all the myofibrils contract the muscle fiber contract and when all the muscle fibers contract the fascicle contract when multiple fascicles contract you have a muscle contraction 
Therefore, the functional contractile units are the sarcomeres. I want you to know that. And within a myofibril, there are so many repeating sarcomeres arranged throughout the length of a myofibril. All right, now we are zooming into the sarcomere. So in this diagram, we will focus on the organization of the thick and thin filaments in a sarcomere. Okay, we see multiple things. We see the Z-discs. Can you locate the Z-discs? Yes, you're right. That's a Z-disc and that's a Z-disc. And from one Z-disc to, uh, to the next, the whole thing is a sarcomere. Very good. Now we will start from the center. At the very center, do you see there is a longitudinal protein right here? And that's called the M line. Now you see the thick filaments in yellow, and you also see the thin filaments as re re as red protein strands, right? So we see the thick and thin filaments. Good. Now, really important concept here. Also, do you see the green spring-like proteins like these? These are called titan or titan proteins. These proteins help the thick filaments to be anchored to the Z-disc. Okay, the titan proteins or the titan proteins help anchorage of the thick filaments to the Z-discs. Okay, now I'll change color. Now, if I draw a line here, and here and look in the middle I want you to pay attention from here to here if you look at this segment that I boxed out do you see both thick and thin filaments yes so this part has both thick and thin filaments and this is called the A band what is this called A band very good now if I draw a line here and a line here similarly I draw a line here and a line here in between the purple lines do you see thick filaments no you don't do you see thin filaments only yes so that region where you see only thin filaments that is called the I band so the I band has only thin filaments okay now this part is also part of the I band but this belongs to another sarcomere so I'm not looking here so we are just focusing on within we are just focusing on the structures that are within one sarcomere okay okay so we know the A band we know the I band now if I draw not green okay green is fine um, this. If I draw one line here and one line here. So within the red lines, within this part, do you see any thin filament? No, you don't. You only see thick filament, right? And this is called the H zone. Remember, H zone has only has only thick filaments so we know a band which has both thick and thin filaments i band which has only thin filaments and h zone which has only um, thick filaments we also talked about the titan proteins and we also talked about the m line all right i'll stop here and then start with the 